We're here with Hunter Wilson. He's a senior from Olive Branch, Mississippi, just ahead of this weekend's set against North Alabama. And Hunter, a little over one year ago, your team was 2-17. and 17. And now you're 18 and 4 and you're ranked number 21 in D2. So from your perspective, what's the biggest change from last season to this year? Definitely our mentality, man. We just last year we were we had a good team, but we got hit early and we just didn't know how to respond. And now it just seems like we get out in front of people and we really think we can win. And Coach Hayward told us early in the season, he was like, Y'all gotta just go out and give this season a guy and let him like monitor it all. You don't have any pressure with that. So that's how we've been playing and it's just really turned things around for us. And, Seems like there's no pressure at all. Yeah, and uh, there doesn't seem to be any soft spots in the Choctaw lineup this year. You've got seven players currently batting over 300, including yourself. And so how important has that consistency up and down the lineup been? Oh, it's been so important. Every time like you come up to bat, you know, you have a, a little bit of sense of almost pressure that you want to get the job done and because you always want to be the guy, you know, you don't, you don't want to have to worry about like, what if I don't get it done if we're not going to score? But this year it seems like if I go up there and get out, the guy behind me, uh, Blaine Grimm or Billy Cameron, is going to get it done every time. And you just really trust those guys because, I mean, like you said, everybody's hitting great. and It's just a, very, a load off your shoulders when you're playing. So. Yeah. And uh, Coach Hayworth was able to recruit some, several transfers. You mentioned Billy Cameron and Chris Crosby and Luke Yancey. And just how have those guys contributed this season? Uh, I mean, Billy, you can see what he's done. Every time he gets up there, it looks like he's going to hit a home run. So he, he just he hits, and that's what he does. And Luke plays center field, and I play left. So he uh, directs traffic out there, and he communicates really well with everybody, with me and Kyle. And he's been hitting really well also. And then Crosby, he's our game one starter, and he seems like he goes seven innings every time he throws, and striking people out, getting ground balls, working out of jams. And he just has that bulldog mentality, and he really gets the job done on the mound. Yeah. And in addition to being nationally ranked, you are also sitting second in the GSC. And going into this weekend, after going 0-9 to start conference play last year, what's it like to see NC near the top of the GSC this time around? Oh, it's awesome. When we were 0-9, you know, it was, we almost seemed like we were out of any playoff chances at all, and we were just trying to claw every weekend just to get one win. And now we go in expecting to win series and trying to get sweeps, and it's really good to know. And, I mean, we still have that in the back of our mind that we remember where we were, and we don't ever want to go back there. So it just gives us more incentive to win every game we play now. Yeah, and North Alabama, of course, the team you're playing this weekend, one of the teams that you're kind of battling with for the top spots in the GSC. And so what can we expect from the Choctaws this weekend at UNA? Well, hopefully we can get some wins, yeah. but uh, they're a real good pitching team. Uh, they have the pitcher of the year from last year, and so we've been working really hard with our scouting reports and just trying to adjust to him and uh, try to get some good swings on balls and hopefully put up a lot of runs and uh, let our pitchers go out there and do what they do and give ourselves a shot to win. Yeah, and lastly, it's your senior year, your final season here at MC. And so what are you studying here at MC and kind of what is your plans after graduation? I'm a kinesiology major and I'll graduate in the spring and I plan on going to nursing school mm -hmm. after this, hopefully here. I'm still waiting mm -hmm. to hear from here in uh, the University of Memphis. Yeah. So um, whichever one, hopefully I stay here and do nursing here though. Yeah. Well, hey, good luck, Hunter, and thanks for taking out time for the interview. I appreciate it.